This is a follow-up video that demonstrates how to use uh, the NASA uh, gimbal control. I, I previously posted a video about the using the NASA automatic uh, gimbal control that shows you how as you pitch your quad that the uh, automatic control gain kicks in. So what I wanted to do was I had a few people ask about, well, how does that work? You know, the automatic control uh, in, in conjunction with uh, remote control, being able to remotely adjust your pitch gain. As you can see, I'm, I have my Turner G9X and I'm able to control the pitch of the X550 gimbal. And as a side note, the X550 frame is not the most durable. I had a rough landing from about five feet in the air and uh, that arm snapped. So I just put duct tape on it, not mainly for the purposes of demonstrating how the uh, NASA gimbal works, not actually doing much aerial with it. So if you look, I'll go ahead and adjust the manual gain and, and point the GoPro up in the air. And so what will happen now is if I pitch this quad and I set it back to right about center point, you'll notice that stays in place. So let me just pitch it down a little bit. Now if we tilt the quad back and forth, put it back down, the GoPro stays in the same place. So it's, it's quite a nice feature to have when you're uh, do an aerial video or photography to be able to uh, manually adjust that pitch. Now the nozzle does support pitch and tilt but um, I only have you know the one axis gimbal so when I upgrade I'll be sure to post a video on that. So this is the Turner G9X and I've, I've configured the channel to actually work with this control knob and so I won't go into details about how that's done, but if you have any questions related to setting that up, feel free to uh, post a comment or drop me a note. So your NASA gimbal settings are pretty straightforward. Once you get into the assistant, you turn the switch to on, set your output frequency. Um, under most cir normal circumstances, the default will work. I have a fancy digital servo that requires a higher frequency, so um, that's why that's bumped up. Okay, as I stated before, the pitch, uh, the X550 camera mount is just a single axis uh, gimbal, so we just really are cons uh, worried about F2, the pitch. And so the servo from your, the gimbal, this pitch servo needs to be wired into F2 on the NASA controller. And um, you know, you, you can set your min and your max for your servo travel uh, your gain for your pitch and that's you know you can tweak that um, I posted if you watch my previous video I think that I found that you know 100 definitely too high you can bring that down and kind of figure out where the the sweet spot is and then uh, your X1 um, port on your NASA is actually connected to uh, an auxiliary channel on your receiver so that's what uh, the knob of my Turner G9X uh, channel on the receiver is then wired into X1 and that's what controls uh, how I can manually control the gimbal pitch. So that's how these automatic and, and manual uh, gains work in conjunction with each other. It's kind of a nice feature as you know you're doing some aerial video or photography and you need to adjust that. Uh, you can use your knob, the automatic control uh, with the manual control is a great feature. So feel free to post questions if you have them, and um, I hope this, this helped. Thanks for watching.